Marvel Legends Collectors, we're going to take a look at Captain America from his appearance in uh, Falcon and Winter Soldier at the end, uh, where Sam Wilson takes on the persona of Captain America. Um, I did complete this figure a few months ago, but I um, only really just got the... I had two wing pieces in storage from uh, Bucky and Scarlet Witch, so... Finally been able to dig them out and complete this figure. Now, the Sam Wilson actually comes from the two-pack with uh, with uh, Steve Rogers that came out earlier in the year, probably a few months ago now. Um, I don't think it varies too much from the single card release of Sam, um, only that it comes with the unmasked Sam Wilson head, which is actually pretty darn good. Great likeness there of uh, Anthony Mackey. So that's cool. And uh, yeah, the wingsuit, you know, fully, fully completed. You know, this is the, this was the builder figure sort of element to the wave. Um, so some parts, I think the backpack and red wing came with Loki. Um, I can't remember, but there was uh, Zemo, uh, Bucky, yeah, blanking at the moment. Uh, John Walker, US agent, there's a couple others, but um, yeah, I'm finding this little bit a little bit tricky. So in the back there, there is a little slot just where my thumb is for for this, and it doesn't doesn't sit in super well. Um, so it's probably something I won't display. I just run with the idea that our Red Wing is, you know, strapped onto the onto the back of the suit. But yeah, you have the, the closed wingsuit, which you can swap over on the back. So you can just have him in his sort of like floor running mode, <laughs> I guess. He's not in the sky. But uh, I really like the wingsuit. I think it looks awesome in those colours. I really love that the suit sort of stays loyal to the, to the comic versions of, of Sam Wilson's Captain America. And uh, yeah, this looks, this has come out really nice actually to have this full suit sort of come out, wrap around. As well as the uh, stand here, the plus, sort of clear plastic stand. It's not so much a flight stand as it is just as a little bit of extra stability because when it is plugged into his back, his feet are more or less, you know, if you've got him in a got him in a bit of a pose, you sort of got one foot sort of balancing on the on the base there, so that's okay. But we'll take a look. Otherwise, he's he comes with sort of an open open hand, open left hand. So that's that sort of just throwing the shield sort of I don't even like it as sort of like a pushback as he's flying around and a fisted hand here um, as well. Fisted hand on the figure, and another sort of relaxed, sort of open hand. So they both look good. So I really like the really like the outfit. Nice blend of uh, his sort of falcon outfit, and uh, you know, obviously Captain America, red, white, and blue. It's sticking with a lot of the uh, sort of silver, sort of armoured elements. It's got the shield. It does sort of sit nicely over his arm. Will come off. Um, I tend to just sort of pop the fist off and it slides over a little bit more. A um, little bit easier rather than trying to get that fist through the hole. Um, so I'll leave that on there for the moment. But yeah, it's, it's a nice looking suit. I'm contemplating picking up another one just so I can have like an unhelmeted, uh, no wingsuit Sam. I reckon that'd look cool just to have another variation of the suit of the figure. Next year, I really do like this one a lot. It's 
So it's got all the good articulation you can hope for. Uh, no butterfly joints in this one, which would be a huge benefit, but I think this was sort of very late in the production before they started going really, really hard with the uh, butterfly joints uh, that they're doing so much with nowadays. Yeah, this figure's only maybe six to 12 months old. I'm not sure exactly how much. Um, I can't remember exactly when it came out because I didn't pick up the wave for a little bit. I got Bucky and um, Scarlet Witch when they come out and the rest I sort of picked up later because I just really wanted to complete the complete the suit. Especially once I got um, Sam and... Sam and Steve in the two pack. So we'll get another look at the wingsuit up close. I'm pretty sure I put it all on the right way. It feels okay. All the lines up. I will um, actually go and check another one, another person's got some more reviews on it, just so I can make sure I've got the wings on the right side, they're folding the right way, yada, 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 you know. At this point, I'd uh, thrown out all the instructions and everything that sort of comes with them, and not like really come with instructions, but I don't know, it looks fine to me, so just the uh, little red wing, which doesn't want to sit in there all that well, but that's okay, I'll, I'll leave it separate. Might even try and find a way to join it up to the up to, onto the back of the stand there. That might look that might look okay. Might. <laughs> we'll see. Sam will see. So there he is. There is Captain America. Very excited that he got announced to have his own standalone movie, the fourth Captain America movie. Sam Wilson's first in the role. Um, yeah, really excited to see that. That will be 2024, I think. Early 2024 from um, from memory. Um, yeah, Captain America, New World Order. So, very excited to see how the MCU is going to be shaping up until then. There'll be a lot of big changes in store, I'm sure. But yeah, excited for the future of this character. I really like Sam Wilson from his, uh, you know, initial appearance in Winter Soldier to the series uh, Falcon and Winter Soldier and yeah let me know what you think of the figure I really like it hope you enjoyed this review and uh, stay tuned and I'll be back with some more very soon